Welcome back, guys. Yes, this is it. 14 days of summer. We're going to go over all events, items, and then let you know exactly what time in your time zone it drops today. Yes, guys, we've got the timed. We know the gifts. We know the rewards. We know the modes. We're going to get into it all. Make sure you stay right to the end so you know exactly when you can play it. It's going to be a good one. So guys, just before we get into the huge beach party and go check that out and let you know exactly when you'll be able to play it, we've got some major news, a huge discovery. So you'll remember Donald Mustard, he's the actual director of Fortnite and he usually changes his destination depending on what's going on in Fortnite and he changed it to zero and in. Now a lot of people thought that meant the beach party. I don't think so, guys. Guess who's back? Yes, guys. It means the rocket must be back or the visitor. Because what is zeroing in? We all discovered way back when, when the rocket came, a little discovery, a little secret mystery that nobody's talked about, guys. Zeroing in is what the rocket does when it came back to go through tilted. Zeroing in is the rocket on its way back. Its lasers come in and guide into the center. And that is it zeroing in. So what Donald Mustard meant wasn't the beach party. He would said it yesterday. He said zeroing in. He means something to do with the rocket. So when we look over the rocket, guys, what have we got to do standing? What have we got left with the rocket? Well, let's see, guys. It came to tilted first when it came down and zeroed in. It went through tilted, rifted. We've had tilted changed, okay? It went over near Mega Mall. It rifted. We had Mega Mall changed that area, okay? Then... Then, guys, it went over Loot Lake. We've had Loot Lake change. There was one destination it's went over that hasn't been changed yet, guys. That hasn't been changed significantly for the better. Yes, guys, it's down near where Greasy Grove was. Is Donald Mustard hinting that zeroing in means zeroing in? The last rift destination of the rocket, nothing has changed. We had tilted, guys. I'll just recap on this. You remember where it came over and it zeroed in and it went straight down. We all thought Tilted was just going to get smashed. Then we had over here, guys, which was over near the forest at the time. We got Mega Mall there. The last destination after this, what we had, it was over there, Loot Lake, if you remember, guys. It came down. Loot Lake was very different then. Look, every one of the destinations has changed where it zeroed in. So I think Donald Mustard was hinting at Greasy Grove or the rocket is returning hence zero then what do you think guys let me know in the comments because i'm so excited to hear what you guys think but with that being said let's get into 14 days of summer here we have it guys so the beach party starts today first challenge for the milkshake guys complete all challenges to unlock the reward this is absolutely going to be their best item i know you guys are crazy about it second challenge dance at different beach parties that's going to be in our next video make sure you check that out third Bounce a giant beach ball in different matches. That'll be the huge beach balls. Then we have eliminations with daily weapon on vaulted. So we're going to get a different weapon each day or the drum gun. That signifies its speciality with it being vaulted back. Thank the bus driver and finish top 20 in different matches, guys. Some cool items there. Coming up next, guys, we've got more. We've got pop party balloon decorations. They're going to be at the party zones. Search unicorn floaties at swimming holes. That's basically where you see a pool of water with a party zone around it. Hit a player with a water balloon in different matches. You're going to get that from a previous challenge. Bounce off a giant beach umbrella. That's the huge umbrellas. Land onto one bounce. Some trip points with a drift board with neon topics applied to it. Wow. They're being a bit specific here, and if you don't know, it's because they're selling skateboards, guys. Yes, you can buy skateboards off Fortnite. That's what the whole Jumpman theme was about. It was to sell the skateboards. Do check them out. They're awesome looking. So then we're going on with launch fireworks along the riverbank. So where you see the riverbank, look for fireworks, launch them. Get a score of 10 or more on a carnival clown board. That's them boards with the balloons popping up, guys. You know, where they just pop up and go... Whoosh, and you just bash them, that's them. Now we've got lots more guys, so let's get into what else we've got. So we're just third from the bottom here guys, visit a giant beach umbrella and a huge rubber ducky in a single match. We'll show you them locations of course guys. Search the hidden seashell in the beach famed loading screen. That is gonna be so cool, wonder what's gonna be there. Is it gonna be a fort bite or a battle star? Who knows, let's see. Destroy grills with low and slow harvesting tools. So you basically unlock the harvesting tools, which is just five up from the bottom, guys. There for the grilling, so it'll be no doubt that you use them. And there's some awesome challenges, and all these rewards are free, guys. Absolutely free, you've got to do nothing for them. So what do you think, guys? Let me know, are you impressed with these challenges? Are you happy that there's new items coming? 
when we look back at them, my favourite I think is going to be this top item here, guys. Just looking back, it's the water balloon because that is a new item that you can physically use in game. I know a lot of you are waiting for the milkshake. I do love that as well. Bring back Jonesy. What did he do? As you know, guys, you know I think he's Tifu. He's definitely Tifu. Tifu at the banana at himself. I just do not get it. Does anybody know what happened? Was it the chicken or was it the egg? Who knows, guys? But let's get into what game modes we've got. Looking in the next 14 days, we're going to go over each one, what you can expect from them, what you've got to do, and how you succeed. So starting right at the end of this video, you've got 14 days, 14 modes of LTMs, new LTMs. Now they're all brand new and they mean limited time modes, LTM. You can have a new gun on vaulted in every one from way back when. Some of us are hoping some experimental weapons from season one and two. Who knows? What do you think, guys? I'm not sure. Basically, the first mode is heavy metal squads. Now this mode, guys... It's only heavy weapons. You've got a faster metal farming rates and faster storm time. So this is really for aggressive players who like using heavy weapons. I must be honest, I'm not into the heavy AR too much. First shot's great. After that, it's a nightmare. If it's something that intrigues you, then that's definitely for you. This one intrigues me, guys. Storm chasers, surfing squads. So it says ride the waves and try stay afloat. Who will be the best? Everyone deploys with a vehicle and impulses will drip into your inventory. Last man standing wins. I don't know. Do you have to keep like floating with the impulse grenades i'm not sure how this works but it definitely is the one that intrigues me because it seems like you have to stay in the vehicle we then have splash down squads now splash down squads guys is basically a simple sum of fun it says try to eliminate opponents with the new water balloon respawns are on will primarily be able to damage people with new water balloon first to the goal score wins so this is awesome this definitely intrigues me now moving on, we've got power up solos. Now this guy says become the most powerful in the match, consume as many shields as you can in the fight to be the last one standing. It says respawns are on at the start, but turns off later. Shields are increased every time you consume a shield. So how much shield can you get to? A thousand? Who knows? Shields and the supply drops are increased. And when respawns turned off, everyone's shield goes to max. That's crazy. Leave none behind in duos. United you stand strong, but divided you fall, leave none behind. That says slurp effect is always active when no teammates are down. If a teammate's down, they become immune to damage. While a teammate is down, all other teammates lose the slurp and begin taking damage over time. That's crazy, guys. Absolutely crazy. Next, we've got use with care duos that says resources are scarce in the mode so make sure you place builds efficiently spawn in with initial amount of builder materials cannot get new resources throughout the match last one standing wins that i love combat pros definitely all the way it's not a builder pro mode it's definitely for combat pros to help them out so if you're a combat pro get in there and get your royale next we've got headshot duos take your time with careful shots and may whoever has the best aim win. It says you can only deal damage with headshots and all shotguns are removed. Awesome. Cannot wait for that. It's going to be one of my favorites. I know a lot of you guys out there are going to love it. Headshots only. Imagine what's going to happen with a body. Just nothing, no damage. Crazy. Tank battle squads. Tank battle. The beach battle. We know it's coming. Simple twist on normal battle royale. Greatly increased health. Shields players start with. It says siphon is turned on. What siphon is, guys, is get a kill, earn health, earn shield. And increase to match increased health. Wow. Ammo's increased and no healing items. Up next, we've got the Builders Paradise squads. I know a lot of you guys are going to love this. So it says, a paradise for builders to flex their skills and build their heart's content. Structure health is greatly increased, so it won't take damage as easy. Resource gathering is increased, so when you chop wood, you'll get 10 times the amount for each slap. Neutral editing is turned on. Anyone can edit any player's build away. Ouch crazy wix bounty of course is back guys it's the duos eliminate the other players collect player coins you'll remember the gold coins collect the most coins you win spawning with weapons and free lives hunt down eliminate high value targets the ones who have most coins rather than collecting them all just kill the high value target first to the goal wins crazy okay after that we've got arsenal guys now arsenal solo says assert your dominance with a variety of different weapons whoever is the best with the worst is the best strange start each game with some of the best weapons in the game once you get a kill guys you go to a worse weapon so you go from the top weapon get a kill without to the worst weapon so it's like what we've seen in call of duty but it goes backwards first to the worst weapon wins Whew. rumble squads a new take on the classic team rumble it says the time the stakes are higher and you have fewer friends to rely on respawn is turned on green or better weapons first to the goal wins wow so it seems to be a basic rumble then we've got loadout swap squads now guys this next one loadout swap squads really intrigues me 
Show how quickly you can adapt to today's rapidly changing world. On a set timer, all players in the match will be granted the same random loadout. Not one gun, guys. Not like single gun loadout like we see in COD or Battlefield. It's one loadout, so it could be anything, a mixture of anything. New loadout granted on timer respawns on, first to the goal wins. That will really make for some cool play. Then lastly, guys, we've got strategic structure squads. Think before you place a twist on normal building, which materials should you use? Metal and stone structure health increased. Metal and stone resource farming increased. Metal and stone material caps lowered. So it's basically meaning that you can get more metal and stone in everything. It's stronger and it's easier to get so what do you think guys what is your favorite mode i must be honest i'm looking forward to the water balloons but i think my favorite mode is going to be the one shot the headshots only because i think that's going to make some real dynamic play you really have to get your own if you have enjoyed this video guys don't forget to slap the thumbs up just down the bottom right of course you've not been here before go on to subscribe to see more cool gaming guides just like this guys have a great day ahead you know we're going to be live with the ltm and i'll catch you in the next one